this is a, a, a strange question to start with, but I don't know much about the Cook Islands. It, it, it's all I know about the Cook Islands is they play rugby league. What, what should I know about the Cook Islands? Uh, yeah, beautiful set of islands. Um, the main island of Rarotonga, uh, 12,000 population. Uh, most of our population is based in Australia and New Zealand, so I think there's about 150,000 or so. But that uh, no, beautiful place. Uh, you know, if you're ever thinking of going to the Pacific Islands, whether it's Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, go to the Cooks first. I'll guarantee you'll like that. You'll love it. There you go. That's the advert, isn't it? That's, that's the, the Cook Islands Tourist Board. Thank you for that. Yeah. Well, what are you hoping for at this World Cup? Obviously, it's a, a tough test, but it, it's going to be a, a, a fun few weeks. Oh, yeah, no, like, uh, we've just thought about the opportunity, to be fair, and uh, thrilled to have it. Uh, it's our first World Cup since 2013. And, um, I know the players, we've brought a, you know, a handy squad. Uh, we're confident they can uh, play well. And, uh, you know, if on the day we're good enough, we'll be good enough. But uh, certainly, you know, having 10 days preparation when we first saw that uh, was a bit of a concern, but I think it might actually uh, work in our favour. You know, we've had to pull uh, players from a number of countries, uh, so to get them together and have a good week and a half together uh, will we'll give us an opportunity to be at our best. This is where I actually do my job for me. Which players in the squad should we be looking out for? Oh, which players? Um, well, we've got a number of uh, NRL players uh, in the squad. Uh, Davey Mawali, who's only 19 out of South Sydney Rabbitohs, uh, hasn't played a lot of NRL footy, but it's going to. Uh, you can, I can promise you that. Uh, Tepai Moiroa, who's, uh, who's, at, who's at the st- Storm this year, played most of the, most of the uh, first half of the year f- with the uh, Melbourne team and, and then broke his shoulder. So, um, But he's back. He's back playing. So um, he's, a, he's a real competitor, a good player. Uh, Who's another another kid we've got is uh, Rua Natikaura, who's a, uh, a young hooker out of West Tigers, highly regarded in their top 30 this year. Hasn't played in the NRL yet, but I'm pretty sure he's going to as well. So um, yeah, we've got that. You know, we've got got a nice spring in of Super League players as well. Don Peru and uh, Zane Tedavano, Brad Takarangi. Uh, so we've got some you know, some players who know their way around the footy field and. Uh, put that in uh, a bunch of real enthusiastic boys out of the State Cup in, uh, in Australia and uh, I think we'll be okay. Is this the best and most ex- experienced squad the Cooks have ever brought over to a, to a World Cup, do you think? Uh, I'm trying to think. I think 2013 would have been pretty similar. Uh, pretty similar, but... Um, yeah, I, I just think you know the tournament this year has a different feel than it, than it did in 2013. I think uh, there's so many more talent, more players and talented players here. I think in uh, 2013, the island nations still still hadn't grabbed a, a you know a foothold in the in the international uh, arena. So now you know now with all the Tongan boys playing for Tonga, all the Samoan boys now committing to their country. Uh, there's a lot of good players in the tournament, so uh, and I like that. And you know, the same with us. I think it's the first time ever that I can think of that uh, clubs in the NRL they're just ex- accepting that their players are going to go to the World Cup because uh, they're going, and um, that wasn't always the case. Yeah. And we've asked the question of nations like Lebanon and Jamaica what it would mean back home. Um, if you were to progress in the World Cup or if you were to put on a display where people could feel proud of, of being a Cook Islander, what do you think? I mean, you said you're laid back people, it's a beautiful place. Will there be crowding round to watch your exploits, do you think? Oh, definitely. Like, it is the uh, national sport for the Cook Islands, uh, rugby league, so we've taken over uh, that mantle from rugby union about a decade ago. Uh, so, with us, you know, Papua New Guinea is the other country where you know, they're pretty fervent as well. Um, but I think uh, I think the fact that we're we're such a small country, um, uh, everyone knows a player who's who's in our squad was probably related to them. So uh, yeah, there's lots of people who will be supporting us. Uh, obviously, we've got a fair population of Cook Islanders in Australia and New Zealand as well, and they follow the boys, uh, you know, on, on Instagram, all the social media pages. So yeah, no, we've got lots of support, uh, and um, we're hoping that we can do them proud. One of the star names, perhaps, that you didn't mention, but we should be looking out for. How excited is it to be coaching your nephew? Yeah, I never bring up KL because uh, he'd be embarrassed, and uh, I'd be looking like I was uh, you know, playing favours. But no, nah, he's uh, he's a good kid, tough kid, 
I was just speaking to uh, someone else before about his ability and you know he's not as fast as fast as his dad Kevin uh, but I certainly think he's tougher so uh, I like saying that um, but uh, no he's a good player he's uh, pretty he's a good utility he can play uh, most most positions in the back line and uh, like his dad he's very hard to tackle so I'll, I'll take that any day and in terms of aspirations for the tournament do you set them now or do you wait and see how the first game goes and then reassess as you go along oh well I've, I've, I've been told a number of times today that we're in the pool of death um, yeah. so you know one game at a time um, Look, looking forward to seeing Papua New Guinea and Tonga about to be Jesus out of each other, hopefully. Um, and then uh, Wales and I, Wales and ourselves will have a, have a bit of fun, and then we'll, we'll see what happens after that. But certainly, first game is really important for all four nations, uh, and we're no different. And Wales have said, uh, John Keir mentioned it when he spoke to us, that he, he thought that it would benefit them playing you first. Do you feel the same way? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose, um, like I said, we're looking forward to the opportunity. Um, uh, you know, we've got 10 days prep, as I said, with the last last round, uh, last game of the first round. Um, so we would have seen plenty of football before us. Hopefully that gets our boys excited. Um, but yeah, whoever we we're going to play, we we're going to look forward to it. It just happens to be Wales.